Hello, this is Jared from Yellowwood Guiding, and in this video we're going to talk about focus. How do you get stuff in focus? So this is a view through the lens and actually inside the viewfinder of my D300. And when you look inside your viewfinder, inside there's usually that box, and that's sort of where you can move your focus points. Depending on the type of camera you have, you might be able to move your focus point all over. If you've got a really low-end camera, you might only have three points, and that makes it really limited. But if you've got a mid-range camera, you generally have somewhere between nine to 11 points. And if you go way to the high end, you might have as many as 51. So you could put your focus anywhere that is, and where that point is, is where the camera will focus. And that's really important. Focus is really the, one of the major elements to get in the picture right. So this is through the viewfinder, and you can see pushing the buttons on a Nikon. It's very simple. You tap the shutter, you move the button, and the focus point goes where the heck you want it. On a Canon, it gets a little bit more complicated. So if you've got your normal Canon setup, you got to find that button right there. Yep, the one with the box and the little dots. You have to push that button in with your thumb, and then you can use one of three different methods. You can use the multi-controller button, and you can push up, down, left, right, move your focus point anywhere you want. You can also use the back wheel and move to all the points, or you can use the top wheel and move all the points. But you want to be able to do it really fast and efficient, so I find the back wheel, or the back thumb pad, is the best way to go. But this is really an inefficient system. There's a way, if you have a medium to high range camera, you can go into the menu, go into the custom function setting, and find autofocus and drive. And once you go under there, you want to find the option that says autofocus point selection method. And you want to change it from normal, the default, to the multi-controller direct, that little button there. So to do that, you have to put it on the multi-controller direct option. And then your camera actually works just like the Nikon. You'll tap the shutter on the back. You don't have to hit that button up there anymore. You can just tap the shutter and move with your thumb. And you're moving your focus point all around. And you don't ever have to hit a second button. That makes it much easier. So let's talk about landscape photography. Landscape photography is about getting the right stuff in focus. So here we are out in Moraine Park. And when you're looking at a shot, the rule of thumb is you focus double the distance of the closest thing in your picture. So if you look way down there at the bottom, you can see there's some rocks and then the trees out there, the base of the tree all the way up. And if you take a look at our focus, you know, we can put our focus point in a lot of different areas, but we can't quite get all the way down to the bottom. We, if you look at the ring here, um, you can only put the focus point down to there. So we need to focus all the way down to the very bottom, the trunk of the tree. So the easiest way to move the focus point down there is using live view. So in live view, we can move that focus point almost anywhere in the screen. And part of the jitters here, it was uh, really windy out there, so the camera, the camcorder really didn't like that. But if we move that focus point down there to the base of the tree, and we hold our shutter in all the way, or halfway down, I should say, until it gets a solid green box, then it will focus. So let's take a look. We took that picture, and then there's our shot. Looks like it's pretty good. No blinkies. Take a look at our histogram. Good settings. And everything looks pretty good. So rule of thumb, like I said, focus double the distance of the closest thing in your picture, and you can get results like that if you do it right. So let's look at a more challenging shot. We're going to shoot from a flower to mountains that are out in infinity. That flower is only about 30 inches away. So back in live view, you're tempted to focus right on the flower, but that's about the closest thing in our picture. So you want to be able to move that focus point down, but you got to figure out where you want to go. So focusing on the flower is the wrong way. You want to focus double the distance in that viewfinder, in that picture, to move it up. So to give you an idea of what we're looking at, let's take a view from the side. So there's the flower about 35, 36 inches away from the camera, and then all the way out there is the mountains. All that in one shot. So the first thing we need to do is pick the right f-stop to get everything in focus. And after doing some calculations, it looked like f18 was the only way to get it there. So we pick it, set up f18, and then we got to go in and select our focus point. So not focusing on the flower, we want to move our focus point up. But when we're setting up the shot, when you're in live view, you have a few other cool features that you can add in. This is the level. So if you're going to take any shots, you better make sure your shot is level as well. If you hit info or display in live view on most new cameras today, you can bring up a level feature. So once it goes green, you got a nice level shot. And then if you notice the corner of my shot, there's this thing that was my filter holder. So I had to uh, look in there. Live view does that other thing for you too. You see the whole picture exactly what you take. So I fixed all those little details, get exactly the shot we're looking for. And again, this is a shot for teaching.
Now we need to get our focus point. So double the distance of the closest thing. So we got to move that focus point up away from the flower and double the distance is not going to be really that far. So all we got to do is move that point just a few clicks upward on our directional pad right up there. And we get it in focus and take the shot. Not too bad. So let's transition over and take a look at wildlife photography. So this is where things are moving. So this is through the viewfinder again, and here's an elk out in Moraine Park. So you want to generally put the focus point on the animal's head, or if you can, on their eye. But they're moving around, so you got to think about which direction they're looking. You compose the picture and put the animal in there. So this is what happens a lot of times. The animal has their head down, and where do you focus? Well. When their head's down, the shoulder and their head is almost the same distance away. So you could put the focus point right at the tip of their shoulder, and most of the time, that'll be pretty good. But now when the animal's head's up, move the focus point up to their head. It doesn't quite get all the way up to the eye. But the really cool thing when you move this focus point like this is you can follow the animal. So we know this, this elk here is going to walk to the right. So we can keep that focus point right about there. And as she keeps walking, we'll know we'll have the same composition as long as we put it on her shoulder or around her back. And then what you want to do, you don't want to hold your shutter down the whole time. You want to tap it. And as you let go and release, you, you'll see that it will focus and bring in focus again. So as the animals start moving, we have to move our focus point around and she's walking across the meadow so we are keep trying to get her head and you can see this is challenging because her head's down the shoulder here is she's getting closer and closer so we can substitute the shoulder for a quick shot and then a few shots here and she's walking so if you can move smoothly you can sometimes keep the animal exactly there and if you're leaving it right there you can see how as she moves across I'm just putting that focus point right on her head not moving the focus point around just moving the camera and keeping it right there and she keeps getting closer and closer so put the focus point on the animal's head compose the shot the way you'd like it now she's off to the left get her right in focus focus on her neck and there we go so that's the idea you're putting the focus point where you'd like to focus in the shot so in wildlife focus on the eye or on the head in landscapes you want to focus double the distance to the closest thing and you'll take nice shots hopefully it's like something like this so good luck on getting shots in focus